Hello everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and today I just want to look into org chart for your SharePoint environment. So these are some requests that we get quite often, um, and it's getting easier and easier now you, you've got options to do org chart out of the box. Um, and we're just going to run through two of those ways in this session. So this is just using both out of the box um, with your SharePoint. So firstly, we'll look at the first one, and that's using the organization chart web part. So as you can see, I'm just on a, a dev SharePoint site here, and I can just edit the page and make, I'm going to add a new web part. And if you search for org, you'll see organization chart there. So if I add that chart, you then want to add the manager or the top level name that, um, that's going to be at the top of the org chart, and it'll automatically pull everybody below that person. So I'm just going to add myself. And as you can see, it's already brought in two member staff, which are working below. Um, so there's the organization chart. If you click edit on that, there's not many settings from it from the front end. The way we maintain these relationships is through the admin center, which we'll look at in a second. But if you can see as well, the one option you've got is just to add the reporting levels up. So, you know, if, if I put myself and I, I work for someone as well, you can do the report levels up and it'll show everyone higher than that. Um, okay, so that's the one option. The second option is to do an org chart in a space. So for the SharePoint spaces, you need to have this feature enabled in your site. Um, I'll just quickly show you how to do that. So if you go to site contents and you go to site settings, and then you can go to manage site features here. And if you want to scroll down, there should be a feature for spaces. So it allows you to create mixed reality spaces in a site. So just make sure that's active for this uh, on your site. Okay, so I'll just go back to the homepage and I'm gonna click new on the homepage and then add a new space. Uh, we can just call this demo org chart and you can select whichever whichever background you want. Um, I'm just going to create this space. And if you click add in the space, you've got this people view here. So if I add this people view, there you can see it's pulling. So it's even still pulling the same information from the admin center. So it's added the org chart there. Uh, there's a lot more settings that you can do with this in the space, but but there it's it's the same architecture behind it's still pulling from the same location. Now I'm just going to show you where you manage this information and that's in your admin center. So I've already got this tab open, admin.microsoft.com forward slash admin portal forward slash home and you can go to the active use section. Or if you select the waffle on the top left of the screen and you can click admin, that'll take you to your admin center. Um, so I'm just going to do the test on this ad account here, but if you click that user, so make sure you click on the name um, and then you can scroll down to manager, which is just loaded. So there you can see, so you've got ad manager here. So if I just add myself as the manager for the admin account, save the changes there, that will show up in the org chart that we've added. Okay, so if I just refresh this page now, it should show admin underneath myself as well. So there, you can see, so there you can see the admin account has appeared underneath me because we set that in the admin center. Okay, so there's just two quick ways that you can do org charts within your out of the box SharePoint now. I hope this video helps. Um, if you've got any questions, please just put them in the comments and please like and subscribe the video as well. Um, thank you for watching and take care.